It's straight jacket day here at Mucus Asylum Stadium here in Luniapolis, Craziana, home of the Insane Colts. The first 1,000 fans will receive a free straight jacket in a 500 volt lobotomy. Am I crazy? Or did I just see a fan throw himself off the upper deck in a garbage can with an M80 in his mouth? No, that's their mascot, Crazy Jimmy. <laughs> Quite the entertainer, isn't he? This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Midway Mutants battle. The Insane Colts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim. I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant blood mobile next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Except the zombies. They are freaks. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. run there for eight yards second down and two It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, nice hit! Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. First and four. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, yeah. The 
burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. One, hot two, eight. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback could be hurting, or dead, or worse. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Third down and eight. Nine. Nine. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. <laughs> He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. down and long. Oh, with the punishing hit. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Apparently the punt of the day is being played by my kids. They just let that one drop and play it safe and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, man. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's.
It's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can... Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your aunt. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to... The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the ten. It's a touchdown. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And they went to the air and came up big. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. Preferably further than that. It's done. The return man catches. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Cut. Cut one. Great run for a nine-yard gain. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. Cut one. message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles! <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much.
Second down and nine. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And that'll bring up third down and seven. One speed engage! What are you trying to impress you? Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Apparently, the punt of the day is being played by my kids. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. Not one. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over to... Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. I don't care what I'm saying. I am a hell of a fellow. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, eight. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Get your motor running. It's changing. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. And we're at the two-minute warning. Second down and long. I guess when the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week, he meant it literally. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it.
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Explode and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Second down and ten. Ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Ricks. He zipped when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Hot two. Hot three. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I th Great play by the defense results in an interception. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Ruin it. I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tr The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean.
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Six. Hot one, hot two. Eight. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self foul, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. He broke free. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. First and goal. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Hey, that defender just got cut in half. And he snatches that one out of the... Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and four. And this back, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hey. hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And he throws that one to the sidelines. Second down and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and ten. Good move. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. You ever get hit? Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And with Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Turned on his jets. Hey, Grim, have you ever noticed that when you're driving, everyone going slower than you is an idiot? And everyone driving faster? He's a maniac! I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and forever. He's, oh, man, his neck 
vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First and four. Excuse, he could go all the way. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. That's not just salt in the moon, that's peen in the ashes of the smoldering remains. Ah, oh, you are truly a master poet, Grim. <laughs> The offense is running low on blockers. They have only two left. If they lose another, it's game over. Here we go. They need two to even it up. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Come down to the wire. I love that show. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Third down and, well, good luck. And he just wrestles away from, and then to first down from a, oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First and ten. Hey man, 
and nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down and a lot. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Third down and six. Oh, what a brutal hit! And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. It certainly left skid marks. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the NFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Tech's hotel party the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. It's first and ten. And there's another pick. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Manish him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Do 
Second down and more than the QB would like. He's supercharged. He is fun. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. The 20. The 10. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little guilty. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Glenn. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can... You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pin cushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as he get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face and that's a run for no gain then it's not really a run is it second down and ten <laughs> He could go all the way. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Oh, did we get out Second down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. Just burn the defense pretty hard on that one. Man, it's still edible, though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Only two minutes left in the game. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that's another turnover for the defense. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Well, come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks Matt. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. I'm glad one guy is at this point with multiple interceptions. The QB should just... Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. <laughs> It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often.
Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Second down in a very lot. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Big for Brace ran with a ball and didn't fall down. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Well, I talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he punched his way out of. He dives and fumbles the ball. And no one's going to his ship after the game. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. And he held on to that one for a first. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> the insane cults do their sacred ritual blood dance after taking apart the opposition in a win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. There I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. See that, little baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...